very happy to announce that news research has raised some funds approximately around five million dollars and if you're not familiar with news research that is exactly why i have decided to make this video see the world of llms have got like large players so one you all know open ai then you know the open side open source equivalent of that is like let's say mistral ai and you've got like the platform providers or the model host like hugging face and then in some other side you have got like these api providers like any scale uh, together so now if you see all of these these are like well established companies most of them are established as companies and uh, they have got like a proper organization and uh, it's 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 what it is but what we are talking about news research is it is a bunch of individual volunteers who came together primarily with an objective to develop open models and that has ultimately became a company and today we have got that company raising fund i mean i'm not a huge fan of always people raising fund but i am happy super happy to say that i am very very happy for newest research because they are one of those flag bearers of open source in the age of um, let's say like models getting released with different licenses um, under the false uh, uh, pretense of okay this is open source so overall i'm happy that news research has managed to raise fund and news research has promised that they will continue to develop openly like with open source and all the other things so let's get into the detail news research as a company doesn't like have a fancy website if you go to their website this is what you would ultimately end up seeing like you would see a bunch of things one of the thing is like their commitment to develop and if you go there you would find two links one is their hugging face page which is like super amazing as an organization page the second one is their archive paper where they published a yarn y a r and related paper now leaving that aside you have got the discord and uh, discord is like quite interesting and this is where also twitter is where they announced that they have managed to close a 5.2 million seed financing round so if you're familiar with uh, startup funding so the one is like pre-seed the other one is seed then you will go with series a series b so this is like their first uh, seed financial round and they've got like a lot of familiar names in it one is oss capital who keeps on investing in a lot of like the name suggests like open source softwares and uh, they have got a uh, ceo of together ai uh, just now i mentioned together ai is a company that has hosted a lot of models has cut down cost for you to use these open models for good inference so together ai ceo has invested in it and you see a uh, like a lot of familiar names like balaji uh, you would see uh, the co-founder of notion and you, you see a lo lot of names but the main thing that I wanted to highlight here with the news research announcement is that like the funding announcement is that it's not just that the 5.2 million dollar that they raise, which I'm definitely super happy for. But if you see their team, so the team um, that newest research has got historically, it has been a volunteer project. Like it's not a company that started. It's not like it's not like, let's say, open AI where somebody decided to actually start a company that would uh, create AGI. It's not like Mr. AI. It's not like most other companies that are out there. This actually started as a volunteer project with people coming together to build something that would mean something for the world of open source. Um, especially, I think their objective at that time was like, okay, open AI is not releasing anything. I think they, they exist even like, they precede uh, Mr. AI. So if you see Nuvis, um, that is where they started. And you can see that uh, the team of developers and advisors you can see like i'm going to like hover on their twitter profile and you would see something very fascinating so you have got e mozilla uh, whose name is at least now visible technium they have uh, actually tagged in the wrong technium here so this is the technium and uh, you don't see technium's name like technium is just like a an anime profile and you see current 4d and uh, for can be converted like you don't see anything you see block 97 you see a name but doesn't have a lot of details max paper clips you have uh, shivani 3000 you have uh, zanzai base so most of these accounts if you see the the interesting thing is these are just like random human beings like randomly spread across the world i don't even know most of them like where they're like based out of like i know for sure like tech name is in the us um I, i'm not sure like if he is like he or she is actually living in the US, but I've seen like references where a name has attended a couple of events in the US, but I don't know about most of these people, but most of these people have created models like newest Hermes model, 
open Hermes model. They are working latestly the vision model. Uh, so they have built these powerful models. But the problem, uh, the the fascination for me is like they are mostly anonymous or pseudonymous. It's it's almost like one little coder. You don't have to be something uh, to actually, you know, create applications or AI. And that's that's why I also like find some connection with them, like the way they have approached about putting together a community, people coming together with uh, sometimes real identity, but like sometimes like pseudonymous or anonymous identity and then creating something together. And uh, ultimately, yeah, you have newest research created. So if you see the kind of models that newest research has created, you will see a lot of fascination. So one, they have uh, they have got like a bunch of models. Like you can go here and then see all the models that they have updated, like including the newest Hermes 2 Solar 10.7, which is a very latest model. But then again, you have got like the yarn, which is which was like created to extend the context window back then. Then you have got like multiple fine-tuned versions of the model. Then you have got like the open Hermes model, a Redmond Puffin model. And it's not just the newest Hermes, you will see all these collections. But if you separately go to like Technium's profile, like whom I respect a lot, you would see a lot other models available. Like you have got a lot of data sets available. So the, the point here is that even though this is not like a company company, these um, people, I guess like mostly they're humans, these humans have established themselves as a flag bearer or the flame bearer of open source. And I'm, for that particular reason, I'm actually like very excited to see that they have managed to raise the fund. And what are they going to do with this fund? Uh, I think their idea is uh, to create more data, like data synthesis, and uh, do more research in LLM architecture, simulation, agent engineering, and a lot more other areas. And they're welcoming your ideas. Uh, they want to uh, shoot for any star, like even though if it is an out of box ideas, you can log in, like you can join their discord and then talk to them and then discuss with them. Um, I've uh, mostly found them like really kind folks uh, who have uh, been definitely like the proponent of open source in the LLM world. So I'm definitely so happy that uh, newest research has managed to raise this fund, especially like $5.2 million could mean a lot in terms of compute could mean a lot to bring in more people. I'm not sure like what kind of monetization strategy that they would have behind this. We know for sure like Mistral, you know, Mistral has got like an API platform. Mistral doesn't release all the models. Like they keep the, the largest model with them. Like I'm completely fine with that. So I'm not sure like what kind of monetization strategy or what kind of discussion they have with the newest research team. But I know for sure like OS, OSS Capital has invested past in open source softwares and they try to make like an enterprise version out of it and they make money out of that and then keep the open source product like alive. So it'd be really interesting to see what news research will end up becoming or will make um, out of this $5.2 million. But at this point, I'm really fascinated and happy that a team of volunteers can come together with the pseudonymous identity and um, and yeah, like ultimately raise $5.2 million and also have um, like the entire community has got good faith in them. It's not like they they have raised this fund because they have got like huge background. It's all the proof of work that they've put out in the world that has ultimately um, given them this opportunity to raise the fund. And honestly, like for me, it's a very inspirational story. It's like it shows me hope that in the world of open AI, in the world of meta AI, in the world of let's say Mr. AI, you have got like newest research, quite inspirational stuff. And I would leave you with this latest tweet from uh, Vicky, uh, which is um, which is like a very nice uh, way of putting what is happening in the LLM world between PhDs and anime profiles. So anyways, enjoy this. Uh, I hope uh, you found this news happy. And if you have any thoughts, let me know in the comment section. See you in another video. Happy prompting.